Saturday night, welcome aboard Murder Hobo Inc., the Calamity Edition. And I will be playing Calamity B side. Not that that matters because these guys are eager to pick up where they left off. Damn near two months ago. We'll give a close, close shave recap here in just a few. Uh, first, let's put money in the pockets. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about DD, join our Discord. If you want to buy cool stuff like some of these cool shirts, phone case duvet cover pillow whatever uh the link is down there somewhere if you are in need of custom dice like this little bastard uh check out at pirate dog dice on twitter at pirate dog dice they can go ahead and create some custom models for you also if your game stinks unlike ours ours smells like success uh try a little adventure sense from oddfishgames.com uh, they have a plethora of scents, uh, anywhere from uh, prairie scent to uh, harem. Uh, and Kyle's personal that favorite, uh, when he uh, inhaled the putrid sewers and nearly died on stream. Hilarious. Hilarious, I tell you. Uh, they also make something called um, the Shine System. So if you want to learn how to write gooder than me, check out the Shine System. Of course, their Kickstarter is 100% funded within the first 48 hours. Ah, uh, but there's still plenty of spots to go for how to RPG with your cat. Uh, Kickstarter's got uh, two more, three more weeks uh, to go. Check it out, I've played it, I had a great time. And uh, for you Tuesday Between the Roll folks, uh, Jen uh, of Odd Fish Games is gonna be on the show. Uh, we're gonna do a quick recap and then she's gonna go ahead and spill the beans on everything you need to know about how to RPG with your cat. Uh, maybe even get some, uh, give her some ideas for some other sense. Who knows? We shall see. And of course, if you want to be on a one shot next Saturday or on Between the Rolls, not this Tuesday, but next Tuesday, uh, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail, hit us up and we'll get you on there. Let's go ahead and introduce you to the cast who's going to make you laugh, cry, and whine for the next two hours. Uh, we'll start at the top of my screen, and that is Rob. Who are you? Who are you playing? Oh, well, I'm Rob, and you can find me at Cthulhu Rob on the socials. And tonight I'm playing Brother Cup. <laughs> nice. My uh, life cleric of Cheskin. Always happy to be happy. Mm hmm. Uh, next up is Jesse. Same question, different answers. Uh, hi, I'm Jesse. Uh, you can find me on all the socials at uh, JR Wooey. Um, I am playing uh, Brother Coda, the cleric multi class into Paladin uh, of Cheskin, who is uh, the lover of El Kabong and the Australian dwarf, Cannon. Nice. Good day. Good eye. Uh, next up is David. Hit us. No. Hi, I'm David. <laughs> you can find me. Better on... do it now because I'll be doing it later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can find me here uh, on uh, Murder Hobo. You can find me on Saturday nights uh, for every other Saturday night uh, for the Calamity campaigns, both A and B. Tonight we're doing B, the gang from Toad Town, and I play Crow. Uh, most nights you can catch, catch me on between, on Tuesday nights you can catch me on between the rolls, but I wasn't on last week, suckers, and then uh, might not be on this week because of our guest. So Yeah, look at that. Two-week vacation, I guess. So there you go. Watch. I'll get that email, Dave. <laughs> Dave, you're up. Uh, last but certainly not least, normally behind the camera tonight, both in front and behind, my wife, Carrie. Carrie, who are you? Who are you playing? I'm Carrie, and I'm playing Crendor, a barbarian whose tribe is the Vax tribe, who are great engineers and have a standard of living way above these poverty stricken individuals here, despite being a barbarian. Crendor is the carpet bagger of the group. <laughs> she is. Uh, her people actually survived. If you missed the first part of this uh, offshoot, uh, these guys grew up in Toad Town. Uh, Crendor and her people, the Vax, were kind of uh, outsider refugee types taken in uh, by the beloved people of the Murga, uh, shown here with Brother Cub, Brother Coda. 
And of course, Crow. You gotta uh, say hi to Steve. Hi, Steve. No, Steve. No, we did not. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> uh, of course, Crow was responsible for wiping out 81% of, hey, of, the, of the Murga in his town, which equated to these three and I think two others. Uh, the Vax uh, are engineers. They are intellectually higher uh, than the Murga. Uh, they managed to fare better. Uh, these guys have been tracking down the Marauders uh, who tried to annihilate their tribe. Uh, a couple of episodes ago, they found uh, someone. The hell is his name? Uh, Edu. Edu. Uh, they found Edu, a God, small child, and rescued him and took him to try and find his people before he was slain. He found episode. his people. <laughs> The, the goddamn In episode death. was called Edu Lives, and you guys got him killed. I believe was it was it called Edu Lives? Killed. Oh my god. It was. <laughs> These guys. Uh, Bill lives on in our memories. On in our hearts. Forever in our hearts. These guys uh, trekked through the land of the Murgo, which is pretty much a swampy Amazon kind of thing, uh, fighting all sorts of nasties. However, uh, they did make it to Jekko, uh, a stockade-fenced town. Uh, there, they fought a large Anubis-looking character that they have no idea what it was. Managed to survive that. The people of Jekko came out, bows at the ready, and these guys handed over their weapons like candy from a baby. Uh, but... Uh, the leader of this group, who also has the Vax, a.k.a. Klingon forehead insignias, uh, has decided, under the advice of America, uh, another follower that they found, uh, these guys are going to be allowed within the city of Jekko. Uh, as, the, as the gates open, they notice a uh, black smooth stone road and structures similar to that of what Kendor's or Krendor's people constructed. So they might be in a Vax stronghold. We rejoin you guys as the rain continues to drizzle down. Dead bodies litter the battlefield. Uh, the lady uh, who was introduced as Niska Poot uh, <laughs> has allowed you guys to come in. As you come in, the Thalmix of guards and archers come in behind you. They have possession of your weapons. You've been told they will be returned uh, when you are deemed uh, non-threatening to them. As you go in, uh, America and her people charge in because they saw the shit you did to the Anubis thing and they want no part of that. So as you guys wander in, weaponless, uh, Niska Poot sends you to the right, sends everybody else to the left. No, it's not Auschwitz. There's no railroad tracks here. I was about to say. <laughs> we get to keep our clothes, right? You get to keep your clothes. Uh, uh, she is going to send you off to a detention facility. Uh, that doesn't sound much better. Uh, Wait, the, uh, we the killed the thing outside. that was giving them a problem and they're putting us in detention? They are going to interview you. Not interrogate. That sounds rough. Seems interview reasonable. you. Uh, they put all four of you in different rooms. Of course they do. Uh, these, nice. These rooms have very smooth floors. Uh, kind of, uh, I, I'll say stucco for lack of a better term. You guys aren't sure. It's like a mud wall, but it's very smooth, very straight. Uh, the candle, they have candles here, not torches, uh, and they sit on the wall. Every room is illuminated nicely, and there is a padded bench for you to sit on. Uh, wow, this is nice. <laughs> this is, what is this, stucco? This is guys, stucco? You guys are in the Hilton <laughs> of uh, Murga. I lay down so, to take a nap. We will start with one, Brother Cup. Uh, after three minutes, uh, the lady with the crenellations on her head, Niska Poot,
comes in flanked by two guards. One of them has any of the weapons that you turn over. She asks, who are you and why are you here? It's that difficult a question? The why I, I'm here question is difficult. <clears throat> I'm Brother Cup, life priest of Cheskin, uh, companion to Dakota, champion of Cheskin, and Crow and Crindor Sue as well. Um, as to why we're here, there was a fellow named Adu. He'll live in our hearts forever. <laughs> and he told us of the story of his people and asked for our assistance. And well, in the process of rescuing <coughs> these people, um, Edu came to his demise. Uh, we honored him properly and then returned the people here to your city. Did you kill him? Edu, no. Did you kill him? No. <laughs> Fingers down. Oh, God. Interesting. I will be back in a minute. She leaves. The two guards leave. Uh, Coda. The door Good opens morning. a couple minutes after you're in there. Uh, Good night. Hello. 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 Uh, it's Niska and three guards. Uh, the guard. Two of the guards have all of your weapons uh, because there was a plethora of them. <laughs> She says, uh, who are you, and do you mind telling me why you are carrying so many weapons? Well, uh, my name is Toda. I'm from Totun. Uh, I'm a champion of uh, Chiskin. Uh, she's a lovely rebirth priestess. I'm, a, I'm also a Tempest cleric. I, uh, I love the storm. It's nice. So uh, we left because our people were killed. Uh, we're out... Uh, I guess trying to live our best life now that uh, a lot of our families and things are gone. Um, we met up with some different people. Uh, we've uh, done our best to assist and help where we can. Um, it ended up leading us here. Uh, we saw these dog people attacking your fine establishment. Uh, we uh, put Elkabong to use. That's uh, it's the Warhammer there, so if you could be real kind. I am, to it, I am be familiar. Nice. You pointed that one out when you turned it over. Along with the stone. It. Yeah, well, I mean, we don't want to, you know, we're not trying to cause any issues or problems. Uh, we just need help. Um, and uh, then now we're here. Uh, we met some nice fellows that brought us this way. Um, yeah, I mean, we're just here to help as best we can. We're trying to live a, live a better life than uh, normal. This is real nice. Did you guys build this yourselves or is this... Did we built get... it. That's nice. You did great work. We actually refurbished it. it. This was a settlement many, many years ago. So which one of these weapons killed this Adu person? Adu? <clears throat> oh, none of all weapons killed Adu. <clears throat> Adu had died in a different uh, different way. We didn't. We don't kill people unnecessarily. I mean, Adu was super nice. We were trying to help him. We didn't kill him. None of the weapons killed him. How did he die? Honestly, I can't remember. <laughs> arrow, arrow to the head. <laughs> it's a gruesome um, death. <laughs> Adi oh, took an uh, Adi took an arrow to the noggin. Um, obviously, uh, I don't carry arrows, um, but none of our people would have killed Adi. It's just Son of a bitch. <laughs> she leaves. <laughs> who carries arrows <laughs> uh she has four guards with her one of them is holding a bow that's the only weapon that they have now if you turned over your dagger and stuff like that it is not present yeah uh, i turned it turned it all over she throws the bow at you and says why did you kill a dude i've uh, already spoken with your associates there's no reason to lie <clears> well <throat> I know you're lying because Adu was killed by a grung. So I'm lying. Your friends are lying, and I'm lying. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I trust my friends, and that isn't <laughs> what happened. <laughs> Your friends are um, 
Murga, correct? Uh, we're from from a place called Toe Town, but yeah. <laughs> you, you are original residents of this region. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, you recognize, I recognize one of your associates is not from around here. One of these things is different, uh, right. if you know that song. Uh, right. She is like me. Uh, I assume that she is, I, I don't know, not to be offensive, but more intelligent. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> uh, the the other two, like yourself, uh, albeit slightly different. Uh, They're very enthusiastic. <laughs> they are. I, I would agree. They, they seem very uh, fervent in their beliefs, which leads me back to the question of why did you shoot Edu? Was it an accident? No, I mean, if... Uh, so you so checked... it was on purpose. I did you know not what? shoot you know what? Edu. I'll, I'll let you think about no, that. Please, I'll right back. Coming in handy. <laughs> <laughs> do you know the door. difference between my arrows and a grung arrow because <laughs> i think if you check you do it's a grung arrow oh, where's i don't do poison at? my arrows where's the you do at i don't know <laughs> he's in the swamp <laughs> he's in the swamp <laughs> that's uh, why i'm saying it's just like how is this adding up <laughs> crendor uh this kaput enters alone mm -hmm. I open uh, my eyes to look at her. Sits down across from you. You have interesting travel companions. Yes, that is a word. Who is this Adu person? He was someone that came along that we were trying to help, and unfortunately, he became collateral damage. Well, you seem very broken up about it. I can appreciate that. So tell me, uh, why does a member of the Vax travel with three of these Murga people? They came to our area looking to live a better life, and my people were helping them, and we ran Actually, this... other way around. Oh, yeah, whatever. And uh, so... Um, yeah, just keep taking credit for everything. Yeah, right. <laughs> You uh, Vax bastard. <laughs> so I came with them on their journey to try to help since I knew the area. So how did this E do, A do, O do person die? Uh, I believe he took an arrow to the head. Did the archer kill him? No, he wouldn't be that good of a shot. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> Uh, that was a very good shot. So. <laughs> she, <laughs> she, cla she claps her hands. Uh, two guards come in. Uh, any of the weapons that you had are now returned to you. Uh, she tells you to go outside, find a nice dry spot. And the others will be out shortly. Thank door you. Oh, the door opens on Coda again. Oi. <clears throat> So the individual that led you here, Adu, was shot in the head. Yeah. And your archer is responsible because he's a bad shot, is what I'm being told? <laughs> no. I mean, look, some <laughs> days everybody has bad days. And some days everybody has good days. But he's not that bad of a shot. He's actually pretty darn... He's usually on track. Now, what happened is... You know those little creatures, the little frog people? Yes, I am familiar with them. Yeah, they have the tinier arrows that are made of, like, bone. Mm -hmm. He got shot with one of them fuckers. He was bad. I felt bad. We tried to save him, but unfortunately, he was too late, and uh, my uh, blessings could not help him. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, this uh, god of yours... Um, Jeskin? Just not on that day or just didn't feel the need to go ahead and save him well unfortunately gods like most uh like most things are fickle and we have no control over it plus i mean if you would have seen it he got pretty fucked up i mean like have you ever seen an arrow go through the skull i mean like the thick part not the not like an eye or something i'm talking like that like was one of my 20s wasn't it 
Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, it, like it went straight through like the big part. I didn't know arrows could kind of like push extra stuff out. He was beard, and like there's only so much you can do to save people, even with magic. At least where I'm at now. Maybe down the road, I could possibly, you know, if chess is willing, I get to that portion. I could bring him back, but <laughs> as of right now, <clears throat> I couldn't do anything. It's fact. She nods and walks out. <laughs> Brother Cup, the door opens up. Hello. You're a holy man, correct? This is true. Are you a good holy man? Most generally, yes. Your god is Ches Chesley? Chesley? Cheskin. Cheskin. Of the bountiful bosom. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Uh, did he not find favor in your associate Adu? I was just not close enough to Adu at the time with the battle raging around to heal him before he had passed my skills abilities. I'm sorry, I'm a meager cleric. So how bad a shot is your archer? <laughs> <laughs> because it I seems suppose to it me depends. That I suppose it depends on the day. I don't know what that has to do with Adu's death. Though. Well, Adu was killed with an arrow to the face, apparently. To the head, yes. Grung arrow. Grung. Poison. Yep. Oh, oh, Poison. Oh. Grung. So Nasty. not from your archer. Because I'm told he, is, uh, he has uh, good days and bad days. This is true, yeah. So you're certain... Coda does too. He has bad days as well. Code I've had some once. The one that talks funny? <laughs> the shorter guy in the well, other room talks funny? That guy has bad days? Pull from sure. <laughs> sure. I remember this one time, well, back in Toad Town, we had these bridges that crossed the river. About every third <laughs> or fourth time across, Code would go pop right in the river. Hmm. So he has trouble walking. Only across narrow logs. I hear he's drunk most of the time. Thanks. <laughs> she, she it, could possibly, it could possibly have something to do with the pipe weed, but I don't think so. Pipe weed, you say? Yeah. Does he use Toad the pipe Town. weed a lot? Well, not a lot, no. What would you but... consider a lot? <laughs> How often do you beat your wife? <laughs> I'd consider a lot to be an amount. I'm not sure, really. I see. You don't seem to be very sure of a lot of things. I will be back. That's true. Uh, Crow. The door opens. It is just Niska. I'm, I'm laying on that padded bench. I'm like, oh. <laughs> okay. So. You are traveling with a Vax. You are traveling with a cleric of Cheskin mm -hmm. who doesn't really know much. Mm -hmm. And you're also traveling with another cleric of Cheskin who has a, uh, a, a separate ingredient fallacy. He's hooked on drugs <laughs> in the form of pipe weed. And you apparently sometimes can't hit the broadside of the barn. Hey. Uh, <laughs> well. Have you ever hit a friendly individual? No. Yeah, actually, friendly individuals have hit me. <laughs> who, uh, who, who was the friendly individual that hit you? Oh, I believe. <laughs> Oh, oh, that would be one of my, from what I remember, <laughs> it's one of the other two fellows. I think it was both of them. <laughs> I think it was both of them. I, I think both of them hit you. I don't know. Well, to be about. honest, my luck is really, really bad. So to be honest, I think Edu died protecting me. I think he, he took an arrow while my back was turned. So I was fighting a very big grung. <laughs> I see. Yeah, but, if anything, but, 
that the, 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 died the, the toad the toad was really big it was a really big toad there was a big one among them so i see uh she leaves you guys you guys sit in the room for 10 minutes <laughs> i know <laughs> I'm just uh, walking around the whole room, kind of like testing all the sides. Yeah, like, really nice. checking what the is, furniture. What am I doing? It's amazing. You, you are outside and you see Niska come to you. <clears throat> She's eating an apple. Care for an apple? Is it red or green? It's red. Yeah, sure. Uh, she produces another apple and she's chewing on hers. So why and, and she's got an air of great disdain on her lips. <laughs> why are you traveling with these three individuals who have a lot of bad days hit each other and think that the grung are large are you traveling with three stooges or what are you traveling with pretty much <laughs> <laughs> yeah hey, yes, pretty much um I, I said that I would help them, and I'm trying to honor that. Are they a threat to us? <laughs> You've seen them. You've talked to them, really. One is well, well, a weed well, addict. Well, One can't hit the broadside <laughs> of a barn. And the other... We're more of a threat to ourselves. The dog, or the, his god can't be bothered yeah, to we're pay attention better, to him. <laughs> we're a better hazard to ourselves. <laughs> Okay. I so. mean, you know, they're kind of a pain in the ass, but I wouldn't worry about them. If you can keep an eye on them, I will release them. And of course you and everybody can have their weapons back because clearly I don't think this fight's over. I think we need to pay attention. And I think uh, the addition of seasoned fighters might help us, even if they're just going to beat on each other. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, Brother Cup, Brother Coda and crow uh there's a knock on the door two more vax guards appear uh they drop your weapons and oh, tell you thanks. to pick them up and follow them oh thanks very much it's my mace <laughs> easy a kaboom it's my knife <clears throat> uh they lead you out into the mud because the rain is still going on there's a large oak tree right next to this black winding path uh, it's very firm, very hard, and it, it's made of uh, crushed, condensed uh, stones. Uh, the buildings here do not look anything like even what Crendor's people built. They are all about 10 feet tall with tiled uh, pottery roofs, all the same color, all the same design. Uh, We're in the but, suburbs. But they are... Up, they're very well kept up uh there's flower boxes uh it, because it's raining only the guards are touring the stockade fence uh, as you guys stand in the mud and the rain crendor and niska stand underneath the tree uh as lightning starts to fork over you guys uh and she says your friend crendor has vouched that you will not be a problem for us to deal with uh so i ask if you could refrain from smoking stop hitting each other and keep your bow on your shoulder uh i think we will all get along uh everybody give me perception checks <clears throat> Oop. <clears throat> 14 nine 20 not natural uh, i was i was shocked by by crendor being called our friend <laughs> yeah and vouching for you. by anybody but us <laughs> <laughs> uh everybody but brother cup hears a whistle and niska looks over towards the front gate uh and you see the shadowy figure of a guard asking you to steal second base uh for some reason uh she says if you, could, full. if you could come over with me please uh she looks at crow to make sure that his fucking bow is holstered uh <laughs> untrustworthy bastard 
and, and walks to the left of you guys <laughs> to avoid getting hit in the back. Uh, you guys go up to the guard stationed there at the door, and the guard there is a human uh, and reports that uh, some interlopers have been spotted uh, that he thinks may be a problem. What kind of interlopers? Uh, it appears as though uh, the dogmen have returned. What, what's it about? Is that like the people we fought earlier? Being interlopers. Yeah. Only smaller, slightly. Ah. Or... The one you fought was rather large. Uh, these are not so much. Uh, the individual. I thought is they were talking about deer. Interlope? Oh, okay. <laughs> no. no so these dog things are called interlopers. Nisko no, no. looks at Crendor <laughs> again. And... Interlopers are like the people who you don't like that like are coming in. That they're, they're like in the way. Interlopers. The vocabulary oh. is not great, but uh, yeah, the, the guard on top is just kind of staring. Nisko's like. Uh, Who's on first? <laughs> you know what? To prove your worth to this community, Winston, how many are there? I see three, uh, the guard says, uh, and they're just by the tree line. Niska says, if you four would be so kind, keeping an eye on Crow and his bow, could you guys go out and deal with these three dog people? If you require assistance, we will send additional people out. But I think in the rain, a small unit tactic may be beneficial. I mean, good. Okay. Much more better? Much Isn't that what beneficial better. means? Like, useful? Oh, I know what beneficial means. It's a supplement that you take so that you can poop regularly. <laughs> Ah, like like Benefiber. Yeah, just, just like <laughs> Benefiber, <laughs> only it's beneficial. Uh, oh, are you my guys man taught me to eat coconut husk for that. Mm. Great. Oh, <laughs> that sounds painful. Uh, are, are you guys willing to go out and deal with these gnolls? Yeah, we can go talk to yeah, them. Of course. Sure. Okay. Uh, they will open the door for you just to crack. You guys can sneak out. Winston at the gate uh, will give you the high sign when he notices the dog men are not paying attention. Then you guys can all do stealth rolls. Who wants to go out first? Uh, Crow will go out first. Second. So, I'll go. So everybody plows in. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll, I'll go last. Okay. <laughs> uh, Okay. Clank, uh, clank, 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 clank. Uh, <laughs> get wedged in there. Ah, ah, I'm, I'm, I'm only two inches taller than Coda, so. Funk, funk, funk. Odd Cup will be faster than Coda, even Coda faster. Five. Uh, so Crow, Cup, Coda, Crendor. Go ahead and give me your stealth roll there, Crow. Natural 20. Plus nine. <laughs> nice. Brother Cup. <clears throat> I have to roll at disadvantage. <clears throat> Shocker. Two. Uh, Brother Cup shoulders Brother Coda into the timber and escapes and promptly falls flat into the mud pit right there. Coda, uh, stealth then dexterity. Because you're walking over the top of cup. Ooh. <laughs> Stealth. That's a. Uh, that's an even ten. <laughs> and dexterity is also an even ten. Ah, I think you got that spot in my back that was aching. Uh, you are now an Oriental masseuse. <laughs> is there a happy ending? <laughs> there, there'll be a happy ending later. <laughs> as Brother Cup is stuffed into the wormhole. Uh, Coda, clearly you bang off another timber. You almost slip and fall on Brother Cup. Uh, Brother Cup, give me a deck save before Crendor plants you deeper into the mud. Natural 20. Yeah, you scamper away, just covered and dripping in mud. 
Crandor, give me your spell. Coda, Coda, camouflage. <clears throat> Ten. All right. You also bang in the gate, and uh, everybody That's give right. a perception check. Twenty. Oh, nice. Uh, Eighteen. <laughs> Twenty-one. Crow. What are we rolling again? Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Perception. That really feels better. <clears throat> uh, okay. Uh, perception is um, 18. So Everybody hears Winston yell, shut the damn door before they get in here. <laughs> 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 you guys seal team zero your way over to a small copse of bushes. Uh, look out, and all of you had high enough perception rolls that you can see a couple of dog figures over in the tree line. Uh, you'll need to either run directly at them or you can kind of button hook around and hope they don't see you. How far away are they? Oh, they're about 100 feet. Is it still raining? Oh, yeah, it's pouring. Mm, good. Lightning is streaking across the sky. 100 feet, you say? Yep. Okay. Uh, let's button hook. Cheskin blesses us with lightning. <laughs> <laughs> it's indeed a good sign of her favor. <laughs> <laughs> button hook maneuver three. Ready? Break. <laughs> <clears throat> so we're button hooking. Yeah. 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 I will see if they see you. Hmm. Uh, you hit the tree line. Kind of keep an eye out. You don't see anybody emerging. You take that as a good sign or a bad sign. Doesn't matter. Uh, do you want to weave your way through the uh, tree line and try and get to them? So we can't see them at all from here? <clears throat> Too many trees. Can we hear them? Oh, no. The fucking lightning and thunder. The rain is just horrific. Brother Cup's probably sneezing by now. <laughs> Snotting the, the, the mucus and the mud out of his face. Now, if you want to see if you can hear them, I'll go ahead and let you try uh, perception at disadvantage. I'll try that. <clears throat> Ooh, 15. Wow. <laughs> Last time I played, I rolled a double one. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled double Sorry. 15s. No, I rolled double 15s this time. <laughs> it's like, well. Nice. Oh. I keep going. Okay. Uh, you guys keep going. Everybody roll initiative. Um, 20. Huh. 7. 20. Not natural. <laughs> 3. So, the front and the back part are, are prepped for this problem as not 3, Four dog men come charging through the trees. One for each of you. I will take the twenties. Crow and Crendor, you guys are up. Okay. How far away are they? Uh, they are closing fast. Uh, they spotted you with a sixteen on their perception. Uh, I will say they will be in melee range this round. So if you guys want to do melee, go ahead. If you want to do a ranged attack, go ahead. Okay. I am going to strike with my javelin. Sure. Uh, 14 a dramatic number for these guys. 19. There you go. And 186 plus 3. Well, crap. 4. Crow? Uh, Crow's going to use his bonus action to steady aim uh, mm -hmm. that gives him advantage. And uh, yeah, he's going to take a shot at, at the nearest dog person. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. What's our range to these dog guys right now? Uh, they're, range? they're closing to melee range unless you use ranged attacks, and then they will also use ranged attacks this round. Okay. Uh, 21 actually to hit oh yeah easily okay 
Uh, that is 11 points of piercing damage. All right. Uh, 12 for them. So uh, I will use Longbow since you two both opted to shoot. So Crendor. 18 plus 4. And 16 plus 4. Dirty 20 to Crow, 22 to Crendor. You guys are going to both eat four points of damage. Uh, Coda and Cup. Uh, Odd, I will come after you. Uh, Melee, even, I will come after you. Range. Do I get to act on seven? Nope, because I had a 12. Oh, oh, you guys are done. Okay, never mind. Uh, even, they're going to close for melee on you. Oh, wasted that nap 20. Coda, they will come after you as well with their spears. Brother Cup, my attack on you is a nine. That doesn't be my 18. Uh, 18 is the next roll plus four on Coda. You get the spear, and I will use a murder hobo translucent. Ah, shit. Three hit points of damage to Coda. Brother Cup, you are up. This is seven. Um, yeah. Looks like I'm going to use Guiding Bolt, but only at first level this time. Okay. Um, so, but <laughs> my range spell attack is a 17, 12 okay. plus 5. I'm going to roll my Con Hobo dice. Nice. Oh, Con Hobo, don't fail me. Six, five, five, one, 17 points of radiant damage. Nicely done. Coda. All right, let's let's go hit somebody. El Cabon comes out. It's time to smack it, smack some people up. Oh, next attack against the one I hit before my next turn ends is at advantage. Okay. All right, let's give my little whack on the face. Uh, that's uh, twenty to hit. Yep. And he does. He kind of glows now. Uh, Eleven points of bludgeoning damage. Nice. New round! Crow, Crendor, you guys are up. They have uh, opted to hide behind a tree and shoot at you. Uh, hmm. Okay. Uh, are they full cover or partial cover? Oh, only partial cover. Partial cover. Okay. Yeah, uh, Crow's going to stand his ground and take a steady aim again. See in Florida? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, man. So, so yeah. Sorry, George. This bullet's for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right. So, uh, let's see. All right, uh, 18 plus 8 to hit. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, 6 plus 6. Uh, so that's going to be uh, 8 piercing damage. Oh, does not look good. Crendor, you're up. So I'd like to rush forward using my great axe. Sure. Well, fuck. Seven. <laughs> nope. Uh, you don't. You don't get there in time, and you see uh, an arrow knocked directly at you, as does Crow. So Crow. Uh, ten plus four. That's going to be a miss, I assume. Yeah, that's a miss. Uh, the arrow goes whizzing over your head and thunks into a tree behind you. Grendor, uh, also a 10 plus 4, 14. I assume that's going to miss you. No, it hits. <laughs> really? Well, it says my armor class is 14. Yeah, well. Ah, uh, three hit points. Or, I'm sorry, four hit points with the longbow. Uh, thunk into your shoulder. 
Uh, Coda, Cup, you are in uh, range. They are going to beat on you with their spear. Cup, 15 plus 4, 19. Oh, that one hits me. And Coda. He's so excited. 10 plus, that's my third fucking 10 in this uh, round. Uh, 14, get you, Coda. Yes. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, Cup Coda. Apparently, you have brother dog men at you. Uh, they stab you in the gut and laugh excitedly and gleefully. Ooh, 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 ooh. Eight hit points of damage, uh, and they give each other high fives. <laughs> wow, brother Cup, Pretty you're good. up. Uh, I'm yeah. going freely here at the end of Clan. I'm Beach. going to duck, keep myself ducked behind my shield and say a prayer. And um, all of my allies within, uh, what is it, 30 feet of me will receive 2d8 plus 8. <clears throat> Damage? No. Hell <laughs> Uh Yeah. Oh, plus my smell on uh, fire, plus my life, plus, yeah, it's 2d8 plus 8. Uh, that's 9 and 8, 17. Everybody gets 17 points back. Ooh. Oh, my mix. All my buddies. Crendor, you get 17 hit points back, uh, courtesy of Brother Cub. Oh, thank you. Uh, whose prayer went off at a much higher pitch as uh, the urologist brothers uh, carved them up. Coda, you're up. All right, let's hit him again. Elkabong to the rescue. Elkabong. Uh, that's uh, 20 to hit. Okay. Uh, seven more points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, Everybody looks bad except for Crendors as we start round three. Uh, Crow, Crendor, you are up. Uh, how far away are we? You are now face to face with this guy as he's trying to change out his longbow for a spear. Okay, so I don't know how to rage. Explain that to me. Uh, you're raging right now. Uh, you go ape <laughs> shit. It's a bonus <laughs> action. You okay. just do it. Yeah. Okay, so then I can use my great axe as well. Yep, and you scream out, "Mother puckers!" <laughs> <laughs> Your eyes turn beet red. Your teeth grow like fangs. You add to it. Much like rage a Klingon damage. now. <laughs> so, you look a lot like Burt Reynolds in the second Cannonball mean. Run. Give me somebody to hit! <laughs> Math is hard for me. Uh, you only need a 14 to hit this guy. Okay, well, 17. Okay. And. Slice off an ear. He got an earful. Nice. <laughs> ah. He's using a great axe. A so seventeen might get more than an ear. <laughs> oh well, son of just a bitch. Not, not the way she rolls damage. Yeah, not not just, today. Get, just um, this side of the face, <laughs> just slightly. He is four. I got four. Smooth. <laughs> I rolled the perfect two d eight a moment ago. One eight and one one. <laughs> hmm. nice. Aces and eights. Dead nice. man's hand. Ah. Uh, Crendor, you're up. Or I'm sorry. I just, uh, say, I just Crow. Roll. Crow? Okay. Uh, Crow rolls a um, 22. See it? Yeah, I go right after they try and kill me again. Mm. Kill me now. Uh, 12, 12 points of piercing damage. Oh, yeah. That, that neutralizes him nicely. Uh, now there are only three, so on Crendor, uh, I'm going to hit you in the face with my bow because I can't get my spear out. Uh, and unless an eight hits you, you are free this round. Brother Cup. Yep. Swing it! Motherfucker. Eight number two. <laughs> and Coda. Oh, that's it's the shield. That's a that's a nine. Oh, that'll <laughs> so miss. Thirteen. Uh, that'll hit. Thirteen. Yeah, <laughs> that's my magic number. Man, oh man. <laughs> uh, uh, Udo plus two, three hit points of damage. Uh, since he hit me, I will use my reaction to hit him with uh, 
a little bit of a uh, wrath of the storm. Zip, zap. Uh, so he needs to do a dexterity save, DC 13. Nat 20, baby. Uh, he sidesteps it as he sticks his tongue out as his brother and says, I got mine. <laughs> he still takes four points of lightning damage. Because Somebody he slice his tongue off. Tingles. Tingles. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as his tongue sticks out, the look on his face changes and he pitches forward into the mud. Uh, <laughs> brother Cuff, you're up. At advantage. Oh, that is a 17. Um, yeah, plus four, 22 or 21 to hit. Dad, yeah, got three yeah. hit points. Oh, he's going to be dead. Uh, yeah, six bludgeoning. <laughs> dead. Uh, Coda. Damn, the bonus is two. Did, did. Uh, then it's just uh, Crendor's, right? Crendor, but she had to run to go get him. So uh, not in melee range at this time. Uh, alrighty. I will use a spell slot to do a uh, guiding bolt at first level. Just that 46 radiant okay. damage. It's Smoke a them. 24 to hit. Yep. And he takes two, three... Four shit. Uh, nine points of radiant damage, and hey. uh, the next person who hits him gets to hit him at advantage. Crendor, a magical bolt of energy goes flying over your shoulder and hits your dog man in the face. Who's still alive? Round four. A crow? Crendor, uh, you guys are up. Yeah, I think Crendor is, is up for crow. Uh, well, three. You get uh, advantage. Your, your axe. Oh, that's right. You so get you advantage. Get to, uh, so you get to roll twice the higher the two. Hopefully. Damn it, Jesse. Her three. axe is going to be embedded in that fucking tree. Six. <laughs> oh, no. Six? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That oh, axe is in the tree. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Crow. She tries. Uh, Crendor attempts to Ooh. decapitate the dog face. That X. And uh, gets caught in the. You know what? She she comes up and over and hits a low hanging limb, and now it's stuck. And she's <laughs> she's wiggling, and oh, she man. is in great peril. Seeing her and wiggle like that, trying pissed. to get out and all that. Because yeah. if if you don't kill him, he'll be attacking his advantage. <laughs> Yeah, Crow's going to take steady aim again, uh, roll with advantage, and uh, yeah, he's we, got he's still got, advantage. He's got still get advantage from my uh, thingy, light, from my light spell, cool. or my thing, so you don't have to take your steady aim if you don't want to use it. Oh, okay. That's fine. Uh, let's see, it's a 20 not natural to hit, and I've got... Coda's Mambo number five in my head play, and right. it's just a, a little bit of chest skin in my life. <laughs> right. Oh, man. Boom. So. The old bosom at my side. <laughs> exactly. Wow, this is a lot of Eight points of piercing damage. <laughs> <laughs> that song blows in Australia. <laughs> it does. Oh, Lou Vega, you are not ready for that. <laughs> The Australian no version. No worldwide tour for him. Uh, the arrow lodges right in the brain pan. Looks like we aren't taking any prisoners tonight. Thank God. Uh, you guys are all covered in your own blood, but healed. Do we get uh, to loot anything? Is there anything sure. to loot? Can we yeah. take their heads? <laughs> you can take their heads. You can take their loot. Uh, doesn't matter. Each of them had a spear. Each of them had a longbow if you want those. If you want, I can make a I can make a pike for you. <laughs> Stick the head on it and put it outside the door. <laughs> they each had spears. You could put the heads on each of the spears I'm and carry them that way. Exactly. Point. That shouldn't have taken that long. Well, see, you've got to aim directly at the body of it, not at the trees around you. Do you want me to smack you? <laughs> I mean, kind of. I could be into it. it. It's not too late to turn him into Niska. <laughs> nice. He is into uh, tall chicks. I wouldn't um, do that. Uh, these guys all have strange but pretty rocks. Uh, I want those. 
multiple facets, uh, yellow, uh, amber in color. Uh, They're gemstones with 25 gold pieces. Uh, you guys have no idea what this is because you're not They're familiar shiny with the monetary rocks. system. Uh, everybody roll straight at D20. Jesus Christ. Oh, One. 20. 20. Come on. Everybody roll a 20. <laughs> Crendor already botched it. Uh, Eight. <laughs> roll off Cup and Crow. Uh, for Crow, that's a nine. Crow, you win. Four. Unless it's for low. Uh, it is not for low. Sorry. Uh, your Noel has a packet of stinky weed. <laughs> the kind that, uh, Brother Cup likes? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Uh, well, you are unfamiliar with this verbiage. Okay. Uh, well, I'll cut the pouch off of him. <laughs> oh, gemstone. You can mark it down as amber chips. Uh, 25 gold pieces. Crow, you've got 25 gold pieces of amber as well as the stinky weed. Uh, do you guys want to continue to search the tree line or are you satisfied that you have done enough damage to yourself? <laughs> yeah, we gotta uh, go back. We've yes, accomplished what we set out to do. We can go back and report what we did. Yeah. If Crindo's going to take the heads back, that'd be proof. The so sky is clear and a beam of sunlight just down. And An a omen! All four of you. Cheskin's blessing. It's you feel beat. warmth. It's a bit too much. <laughs> Turn it off. I'm good. <laughs> Tuscan bathes you in his favor. Uh, you guys are headed back to the stockade gate, I assume. Is that what I heard? Yeah. yeah. Uh, the guards atop the stockade fence. Huzzah! 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 Uh, the gates open up, and there is Niska. She looks at you for covered in your own blood. How'd you do? <laughs> I throw the heads at her. Oh, very nice. Yeah, we're not dead, so I mean that's positive. Yeah, and I take the patch and oh, you know I'll what this is? Up. Found that on them. <laughs> uh persuade her. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Probably not going to persuade her. Uh, that would be a five. <laughs> She rolled a three. Uh, where did you get these? Found it on the interlopers. Yeah, mm. interlopers. You're not familiar with this? Mm -mm. No. She, she looks at Coda. You are not familiar with this? With what? What happened? I wasn't paying attention. Did we get something? Of course. Uh... <laughs> Niska looks back at Crow and explains that these are healing weeds. Uh, they taste horrible, uh, but if you can stomach it, i.e. make a constitution save, uh, you will get hit points back. Hmm. Oh. But you chew them. It's, uh, they call it Red Man Leaf. Oh, my Red God. Red Man <laughs> Leaf. Oh, God. Wow. Okay. Oh, man. That's what my dad chewed. We're in the big leagues now. <laughs> and it turns your teeth yeah. brown. Yeah. So, uh, essentially, you may or may not have gotten a healing potion. I'll tell you what. Why don't you roll a constitution roll right now to see if you can stomach it. Everyone? Uh, everyone. That way we know if he uses it or if he gives it away. The only constitution. <sighs> I'm hot tonight. 20. <laughs> 16. Oh, my dice hate me. One. <laughs> if it goes to Crendor, she will vomit and lose it. <laughs> and that happened in real life, so there you are. Yeah. you. If you consume it, so if she's on death's door and you stuff that shit into her, she is going to lose 1d6 hit points and fail a death save. But we don't know that. But God you don't know it. that. 
I should have had you guys send it to me in chat. Uh, <laughs> anyway, the sun is out. Uh, you're getting a smell. You're getting a smell out of this place. Death, battlefield. Uh, you can now hear a river. Slightly somewhere. better than Toad Town. Yeah, slightly better. Uh, but the river that you guys followed in uh, does not go through the community. It is a good hundred yards away. Uh, as you now look around without the rain, without the haze, uh, the people are coming out. Uh, the guards uh, are giving each other high fives, cheering along. What you the know. hell they do? They survived the battle, man. Uh, there, there was a battle before you guys got here. Yeah, so. yeah. Uh, everybody's happy. Uh, the guard units, including this guy, Winston, uh, has been called down, uh, and he is to go ahead and form a group to go ahead and check the battlefield and pick out what they can. Uh, everybody give me a insight check. I'll roll for Crendor. Insight. That's in... 17. My, my uh, dice are good. 18. Uh, 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 that's that's a twenty-five. Uh, Twenty-two. All of you hear this Winston guy, and uh, fucker could be Lou Holtz. He's uh, very persuasive. He gives a very inspiring speech about how they have turned back the tide of these interlopers, hell bent on the destruction of their homeland. Uh, a real fire and brimstone kind of speech. You get a cleric vibe out of them. <clears throat> uh, the men there, yeah, you know, they are stoked. Uh, it's like they drank uh, Wang's potion. <laughs> it feels good. Oh. <laughs> okay. they, they must follow Krimbo's war god. Uh, <laughs> They, they go out and they are just stacking bodies. Of course, you guys are below the fence, so you don't see it. But yeah, it, it's like a a Gary Larson cartoon. All of them go. What does Jack Burton always say? May the wings of liberty never lose a feather. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Jack uh, Wow. You are, I pay six G's in premiums a year. <laughs> it's all in the reflexes. <laughs> uh, Rock, if you're listening, don't remake that. It was yeah, please don't. Yeah, that's God. classic. It's just fantastic. Uh, Nesca is, or Niska is wait, happy. Wait, what? The Rock's trying to remake that? What? No. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Niska invites you guys uh, to sup with her. <laughs> Uh, she takes you down the street, uh, this black path, uh, passing by multiple houses, all pretty much looking the same. Uh, the window boxes all have different flowers in it. Uh, you can tell that it is slightly built on uh, stone blocks, carved very nicely. Uh, and at the end is a two-story building uh, with a rooster on the top, a metal rooster. Oh on top of the roof uh and it oh and i thought we were gonna have chicken spins uh she, she leads you up, up the stairs there's a nice porch this is your standard country home uh you walk in she turns around and asks you to take off your boots please uh she does so leaves them on some kind of strange mat next to it inside uh the, the house is immaculate uh, there are two vacs in there uh, preparing a meal at a long, polished table. This place is the fucking Ritz compared to what you have been to. Even me. Uh, Crendor, you will have heard stories of places like this, uh, but in your brief time with the Murga, uh, aside from the irrigation and sewage system, uh, and you had that really cool treehouse place. Uh, but yeah, it, they, they did not have this. Uh, you guys go in. The smell is good. You don't even have to roll Constitution. Uh, uh, there's meals. Uh, there's candles. And there's polished what look to be metal behind the candles. And that gives off extra illumination. Uh, atop, there's like an old wagon wheel with a lot of 
candles. Uh, it's almost like it's broad daylight here as the sun begins to set outside. Uh, you guys sit down. Everybody roll your con checks. What a wonder. Like food and drink. <clears throat> 16. You like it. 30, 20. You love it. This is uh, fucking amazing. 12. Cup it's, likes almost everything. You, you, you're, you've had this before. You're okay with it. Uh, 16. Yeah, you like it too. Uh, Niska congratulates you on your martial prowess, especially getting out of the gate. Kind of a little side jab to all of you. <laughs> <laughs> she points out that she... Uh, Went to the battlements and uh, watched, uh, but you guys seemed to fight well as a team. That was nice. Uh, points out to Crendor, maybe a little in the side uh, next time. Uh, oh, did you did you check? Not a bit of frog in the whole thing. Right. <laughs> uh, you notice that Niska starts to drink her beverage heavily oh. <laughs> as she talks to you guys. Uh, I see. Alcoholism. <clears throat> I've seen that before. So she's going to turn into a drunken slut. Yeah, pretty much. So awesome. She, she likes Congrats. Murga, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Down and dirty with the Murga. As <laughs> folks, we're entering a film competition, and that's what our indie film is going to be about. Down wow. and Dirty with Murga. Nice. The old dirt I thought it was Trindor Sue and the Toad Town Trio. <laughs> oh my God. Three of you are wearing yellow shirts. Yeah. I just noticed that. <laughs> I'm like, because who I'm are you people? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, during the course of dinner, uh, she is. Uh, uh, Help me out. It's when you uh, cut somebody down while sounding nice. What is it? Uh, Nasty nice? A backhand compliment? Backhand compliments uh, to all of you. But uh, as she drinks more, she seems to get calmer. Uh, and she inquires, what are your plans? Now that you have delivered no dead body get to the fuck out America. Of here. Uh, well, uh... Yeah. I don't know. We just kind of we're here. We just kind of let chess can guide us as we go. I defer to the men in the group. Well, I understand that you have lost your villagers. Probably not at all due to your incompetence. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> <laughs> not certainly not a shitty dice roll of eighty one percent. Never happened. <laughs> Never. Uh, if you'd like, well, I don't know what the hell bug that is, but it was nasty. Uh, certainly, uh, you are welcome to stay within the walls as long as you'd like. Uh, we feel that we owe that for you for keeping our borders safe and dealing with the dog man threat. Uh, so if you'd like to stay, I can arrange to have accommodations for you. Uh, some of you might be able to even uh, learn things uh which may be unusual for and you. stuff and stuff stuff and things uh crendor i i can talk to you about different things da, 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 da. uh but certainly if you guys are wanting to stay uh feel, free, feel free to call this your new home yeah uh yeah we could stay a while i mean yeah. see how things are maybe uh, Maybe I could get a cart. Oh well, yeah, we could get possibly a bit uh bit of some maybe work ourselves into some better equipment and then I could I could help if I had a cart. I could move things from one place to another place. I've worked with uh irons before, so I mean very simple, simple stuff, but I'm pretty good at it. I'm very good with a cart. <laughs> she's <well>. drinking <laughs> she's power drinking. Wow. <laughs> she's power drinking that shit. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> that so be... does, does alcohol do some run in your family? I mean, <laughs> uh, nothing runs in my family. That's the deer family. Uh, yeah. she no, looks runs. like it. It's Jones. Oh, no, fuck them, deer. Ask too high, run too fast. Uh, she she looks out behind you guys, and there is a window essentially out there. Uh, and you guys turn and notice that Winston is coming. 
Uh, she says, uh, one moment, please. I, I need to attend to business. Uh, points to the two servants, uh, tells them to go ahead and refill your mugs and get anything that uh, you might like. Uh, and before she goes to the door, she says, would you guys like to try something that we appreciate here in this town? Is it bathing? We'll get to that next. Uh, go get me these sweets, please. Uh, she goes to the door. Uh, Winston comes in, takes off his boots. Uh, they are talking in low, hushed tones. He continues to look over at you guys. Uh, do you want to try and eavesdrop? Yeah. Perception check at sure. disadvantage. Oh, God. <laughs> That's all I need tonight. Oh, the reason I brought up bathing is because Crendor's people made us bathe before we could stay with them. And That's true. I mm -hmm. still have soap. Uh, perception. Ten. Uh, Sixteen. There we go. Eighteen. Cup. At nope. This, at, okay. Uh, Coda, Crow, you are closer to the door than Crendor and Cup are. Uh, you guys can overhear. Uh, they have collected a sizable amount of arms uh, and some kind of yellow rock. Uh, you overhear uh, Niska point out that it is amber uh, and can be very Ooh. useful. Uh, she points out if all the bodies have been disposed. He points out the door. If you look out the window, you'll see smoke rising. Uh, clearly, they are cremating them out in the field of battle. I thought you said this wasn't a Nazi thing. It's not. There's no crematorium. This is a bonfire. Oh, okay. The bonfire of the vanities. The guards are called vanities. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Uh, nice. But uh, she, Niska tells... Uh, Winston to go ahead and take the metal over to the blacksmith. So she returns. Uh, you guys are all handed dishes. Crendor, you will know that what lies in front of you, you've heard stories, but you've never had it. Uh, it's supposed to be a delicacy. Uh, it is kind of a uh, lump. It looks like mashed potatoes. <laughs> Um, but it is cool to is the it? touch. Oh! So if you guys want to try it, yes, go roll con. Yes, please. <laughs> okay. Ha -ha. Uh, oh 17. man! Seventeen. <laughs> what a sixteen plus four. <laughs> Nineteen. Uh, and Cup also got a 19. Uh, she calls it glace. Uh, and it is very cold in your mouth, but uh, kind of boosts your energy a little bit. It is uh, <coughs> what you would call ice cream. Wow. Uh, after the ice cream social is done, uh, she has Winston take you to a house. This house uh, is kept up on the front, uh, but any furniture inside the house is pushed back to the walls. Uh, it, it doesn't look like there's been an occupant in here for several months, uh, but it's it's clean, for lack of a better term. Better it than is, anything we've ever lived in. Oh, yeah. It, this place is Taj Mahal. It's one floor. Uh, it's, you know. Small. It's got a floor. It's got a floor. It's got a nice wooden floor. Uh, it's scuffed up, though. So, you know. Uh, lumber liquidators is does it have a bathroom? Uh, it does have an outhouse, yeah. No, no, no it has that. That. and out back it has a large metal tub. So, Ooh. if you want, to, if you want to take a bath with your rubber ducky cup, there is one there. Uh, it is after dinner. Uh, so Winston asks you if there's anything else that you need. What's a rubber duck? Anyway. No. <laughs> this is nice. Um, I have soap. soap. Oh, okay. You have soap. Okay. Yes. We're good. Uh, Winston points out that if you tip 
tip the container up bathing supplies will be underneath it uh, there's a bucket uh, and there's a well or cistern uh, about Ooh. every 200 feet so on the back side uh, it's a yard uh, with a shared cistern Ooh. Very nice. I'll draw water. Very good. Uh, you guys spend the rest of the night getting used to your digs. Uh, the next morning, uh, you guys can set up guards if you want, but guards are on the wall. Uh, the next morning comes. Uh, oh, yeah. Winston uh, will knock on the door and he will point out Spell that slots. you yeah. do not have food. So uh, you have been instructed to go to the town square. Uh, where you will be giving your uh, rations. Rations? Oh, wow. Will there be cheese? Oh, we do have goat cheese. <laughs> well, yeah, we cheese is wonderful. Is this like government cheese and bread? <laughs> yeah, it's the only, best thing I've ever eaten. Uh, only wow. you get a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. All right. So as you come out, uh, the Murga boys will get some looks. Uh, except for Cup, who's bright and shiny and clean. So, uh, you know, he, he looks like a respectable human and being. half the night scrubbing out my armor and my clothes and everything. Yeah, Coda and Crow look like uh, Eastwood <laughs> coming in off the trail. <laughs> and then I had to get up early to make sure I was clean again. Uh, I do have a poncho. No, uh, I'm kidding. <laughs> you, you, see, you see different guards uh, looking around. Uh, they appear to be lackadaisical at this point in time. Doesn't appear as though there's any threat on the horizon. Uh, you guys will also hear some hammering or banging noises. Uh, as you guys tour the town, you will find, for lack of a better term, this is an old west town. Uh, there is a carriage location. There is a blacksmith location. There is even a place where they have books. Uh, most of the books are in a a different language uh, that Crendor probably won't be able to read. Uh, but there we are definitely of, won't. <laughs> uh, there are uh, good, good kindling. Uh, there are a lot of amenities here that you guys are exceptionally unfamiliar with. Crendor, you will have heard tales, uh, and you are starting to piece together that this is like a Vax village. Uh, maybe a year or two old um certainly different uh there's even a glazer here that makes glass wow. uh there's stone masons and things of that nature so i know coda is interested in fashioning new weapons uh winston will be assigned to you coda uh crendor uh niska will be available for you to speak but you, Crow, and Cup can meander the town. Uh, Coda, Winston will ask you what your weapons are, what your weapons do, how did you learn how to use them, why are you so short, why do you speak funny? Uh, but unlike Niska, Winston will speak to you like you are the greatest person in the world. His charisma is very high and he seems to be genuinely concerned uh, about making sure that your stay here is good. Uh, you can do an insight roll for me, please. Ooh, nice. 21. <clears throat> you don't know why he's being nice to you? It appears to be genuine. Uh, the questions that he asks are always respectful. If I may inquire, if I may ask, uh, would it be possible for you to tell me? Uh, so you don't, you don't see any reason why he's being extra nice. He might just be a really nice person. Uh, whenever you guys pass by guard, excuse me, guards, they will snap too at attention uh and he will play it off ah you guys <laughs> Got you. So, uh, so it looks like you're the big uh kind of like the big cheese the nice guy here 
Jeez. I, 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 I have been fortunate in my life that uh, Niska has uh, made me the captain of the guards. Uh, I, I, I don't feel that I deserve it, but I, I try every day to go ahead and make sure that I'm, I'm the best captain uh, for this community because I serve and that is what I do. It's wonderful. I mean, it's good people. People serving is what we should all do. Like you. I serve. Yeah. I will be of service. Nice. nice people out there. I mean, you heal. Yeah. That's all now, there is to it. Now, Cup Crow and Crendor, are you following Coda and Winston? Or are you I am. I'm following Coda. All right. Yeah. All right. So you, you guys can all chime in. Uh, Winston uh, is very polite. He'll ask you guys where you come from. Uh, he will show uh, deference to you as you tell him how you magically killed the fucking hippo and, you know, all these other things. Uh, and, and he would be genuinely interested. Uh, and he seems to absorb information uh, very well. Don't forget about the big constrictor snake. That's true. However, uh, there is an individual walking towards you guys and everybody perception check. Wow. It's my 21. third net 20 tonight. <laughs> 14. 12. <laughs> All four of you kind of hear a sigh uh, extend from Winston as you guys notice an individual who is exceptionally ugly headed this way. <laughs> he uh, has patchy hair. His nose is unusual, uh, and he just doesn't look like a human. Uh, he has certain human features, but he is atrociously ugly. Uh, and as he approaches, Winston uh, extends a hand. My good friend, Boff, how are you? Uh, Boff then begins a litany of profanity-laced comments about how he still smells like the dead dog man uh That's just and, rude. and is inquired well and you can smell him he reeks he smells like brother cup before last night well didn't he go shower <laughs> uh no he's been on guard duty all night long and yeah. he asks winston how long this plethora of petty punishments is going to last because he grows tired of it uh, Winston apologizes to you for and says, one moment, please. And he steps off to the side with Winston or with Boff. And uh, you can tell that they are somewhat in a heated argument. Uh, but again, Winston is just kind of going through hand motions, playing things off. Da -da -da -da. Uh, after a few minutes, uh, Boff turns around and heads back to the residential areas. Uh, and Winston comes back to you and he goes, okay, sorry about that. Small problem. Uh, where did I you want to go? I and say, you know, it's going to come back and bite you in the ass one of these days. Just letting you know. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's got a bit of an attitude. That's fine. Uh, Winston goes ahead and explains that uh, Boff is a proud new father and doesn't get a lot of sleep. Uh, he seems to be a little bit edgy, but he is a very adept fighter, one of our best warriors. Uh, he's just... Uh, cranky? Cranky. Uh -huh. Crikey. He is crikey. crikey. Yeah. No, that's uh, different. Crikey is like saying, oh, shit, without saying, oh, shit. It's like, crikey. But, you know, cranky is like... Grumpy. Like, yeah, grumpy. Oh, you Murga, you tell the best stories. So, what <laughs> would you like to see? Uh, well, cheese. I'm I'm excited about uh, seeing some of this stuff. Uh, I noticed you guys have a lot of <clears throat> a lot of medals here. Um, we have been blessed. We have a lot of we have an abundance of uh, items here. Well, I'd like to take some time to maybe uh, work with uh, the blacksmith. I'm a forger myself um, and a smith. 
Uh, if I could work to maybe make myself a little better armor, maybe even um, it's a big it's a big ass warhammer. I think they call it like a mall. We'll work on some armor and some weapon, you know, something something fun. Take El Cabong and make it uh, El Cabong Senior, maybe. El Cabam Bam. El Cabong XXL. I don't know. <laughs> uh, certainly. Let's let's go ahead and get you your supplies first. However, I think that would be most uh, beneficial for you in the long run. And then, if each one of you has a specialty, we can go ahead and put you with a tradesperson to go ahead and help you help us help you. Uh, so you guys are led to the center of town. There is a cart there, uh, and it has. Uh, just a cornucopia of food brought in from some kind of hidden reserve. Uh, you guys are each given a bag and just foodstuffs are thrown in there, except at the end uh, where there's a small bag of eggs that they hand to you. Uh, you, know, you don't want to throw it in the bag because it'll break. Uh, right. But you, you have <clears throat> kale. Yeah. Lettuce, carrots, uh, a lot of different vegetables. You've got the goat cheese. Wonderful. You have some uh, dried jerky, uh, and each of you is given a wine skin uh, with either wine or ale or water, depending on your tastes. Uh, Winston says to go ahead and take it back to the residence. I hope you find it uh, feasible for your needs. Oh, Very good. Oh, nice. Very good. Uh, uh, if you guys want to drop that off, uh, and meet me back here. I have a few duties that I must attend to, and then we will go ahead and get you squared away with whatever you feel uh, you can do to help the community. Sounds lovely. Sounds good. As you guys head back to your place, uh, you notice there is another dilapidated, uh, not dilapidated, but kind of run down, not as nice as the others. Uh, and you see da or you see Boff coming around the corner. Uh, looks like he just washed up. He looks at you guys, looks at Crendor, <laughs> wipes his faux uh, obscurement, uh, and then goes inside. He's about three doors down from you. As the door shuts, you hear the wailing of a child. Well, that's it's, not nice. It's a newborn. Oh. Eh. So, uh, after you guys drop off your food uh you guys can meet winston back at the town square and he will ask you what you guys are interested in coda he will set you up with blacksmith uh crow cup and crendor what do you want to do uh crow is an explorer of sorts and a fletcher so did you want to Hope the Fletcher, or do you want to go out on uh, routine patrol? I could do both, actually, right? One or the other. One or the other. Uh, I'm a little tired, so yeah, I'll help the Fletcher. Fair enough. Cup or Crendor? Mm. Well, I, I could help people that are sick or that need healing, or, or I could go on a patrol. Your choice. Um, I'd be yeah. happy to patrol with the with these fine fellows. Patrol it is, Grendor. And what's my choice? Uh, something that you want to do, something you want to learn, or go out on patrol. You said there is a library here. There is. I want to go and read the library. Books. Yes. Okay. Oh. Cup's about to get training, babe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's on the ride along. You want you want to go home? <laughs> yeah. You want to go home, Jake? Okay, everybody's going to be D12 and against me. We'll start with Cup. Oh, God. I'm out with shit. the cop. Oh, <laughs> uh, 12. Nine. Uh, you're very successful. You actually uh, find that the guards are not morons. Uh, they're very adept, they're very quiet, and they can pick up on trails. You also notice that the guards themselves cover trails not made by you guys, as well as your own. 
Uh, so they insist that you stay close to them. Otherwise, you're going to get lost. Of course, and, and I'll be quiet. Coda, D12. Seven. Ten. Uh, you actually help teach the armorer a few things, and in trade, he will go ahead and assist you in the construction of your armor. Oh, that's fantastic. Or weapon, your choice. I'll give you one or the other to enhance. I'll go armor, because I have a low armor right now. Sure. Crow, uh, being the Fletcher, D12. Seven again. Nine. <clears throat> you uh, are actually very adept, uh, and he's going to have you making bows as well. Uh, he will point out that the uh, patrol guys are a little bit rough on equipment, uh, and uh, you seem to know your way around the stick. So you're you got good wood. Uh, so you, you will help them <laughs> build bows. Crendor, I haven't rolled high yet. Let's see how you do. Oh, good. A three. I got a seven. Yeah, uh, you can actually read two of the books. Uh, let me pull up my chart. Uh, uh, two D12s, please. Me? Yep. Well, this is going to go bad. So this, is, this is just to determine what books you can read. Oh, one and a three. Not bad. Uh, geography and history. Uh, history. Not much about it. <laughs> or uh, the geography book has a map. Mm. Uh, you do not know where you are at on this map, so you will have to ask somebody. No, you are here. I uh, know there's no arrow. Uh, <laughs> so, and it's a very old map, uh, very brittle, very fragile because mm. it's Italian. Um, mm. The history book explains the great purge of the Vax people from their homeland, uh, and it does not paint a very good picture of those who expelled them from their land. Nice. This book shows a lot of, for lack of a better term, high rises, uh, much like you built at uh, the Murga or Toad Town, uh, rising high in the sky, having a multitude of people. The history book goes on to explain how you were betrayed uh, by other merchants. Uh, part of the book is destroyed, though, due to water damage. Uh, but it gives you a picture that uh, your people came from the east, uh, and it is your rightful land. Uh, in this case, Losers wrote the history book because it does not paint a very favorable picture of the merchants of Venice that betrayed you. Uh, the geography book uh again you're gonna have to ask somebody me so, yeah yeah who do i ask i don't care you can ask boff you can ask winston you can ask niska mm -hmm. you can ask anybody else in t in town i'll ask winston d12 against me 10 Eight. Uh, I'm not sure about that book, I'm afraid. I would like to help you. I just cannot seem to make heads or tails. Navigation is not my strong suit. Can I put a knife at his throat? <clears> throat> huh? Oh. You can. It's so nice. I think it's foreplay. Uh, Maybe this you, is a vax mating ritual. If you do, he doesn't flinch at all. Call, calls she you begs Jake. You to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Please kill me. Oh, it'd be so much I, easier. I'm so tired of being nice to these fucks. <laughs> Give me the sweet release. Uh, so you guys are handling these tasks for two weeks. Uh, you will each have to take guard duty at some point in time, uh, a day shift and a night shift during these things. 
uh, Brother Cup will be eliminated from having to stand on the wall because he is one of the patrol guys. Uh, Brother Cup, you find that the patrol serves two purposes. One is to keep the border secure. Uh, the other one is to gather food. Uh, D12 against me. Let's see if you make the big kill. Four. I got a six. Using your skill, you managed to kill a very large boar with the aid of the other patrolmen, uh, but they give you credit where credit is deserved. Oh, uh, thanks, fellas. This is just great. This is like the <laughs> Mouseketeer Club. Uh, so uh, one night, uh, there is a roast, uh, courtesy of Brother Cup, uh, with everybody getting a slice of the giant boar. Uh, Coda... You will have, did you say armor? Yes. You will have your improved armor after two weeks uh, because nice. you and the diligent armor uh, worked tirelessly to improve it. He also melted down the uh, metal. Uh, he was smelting the old weapons of the dog face people. In the two weeks, no signs of trouble. Uh, mm. Cup can verify they aren't finding shit. This must have been an odd you know, situation where they were under attack. We found uh, a basket of bimble berries, but I mean, we picked a basket of bimble berries. Well, and where are they now? Well, Crow should have been the one on patrol. So, we like, yeah. oh, we kind of turned them over with the boar. Oh, uh, that's how I found the boar. I was picking bimble berries, and the boar found you. And it was actually in its snout. <laughs> Uh, Brother Cup, D12 against me. Sure. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. That's Three. Uh, I'm afraid that's a two. Uh, you do not find out any other useful information. In oh, I wouldn't. Two week time. Uh, Coda, D12. Four. Yeah. You 12. know the cup got along with these guys because like, you know, when they take breaks, he'd be like, Oh, let me fix that shoulder patch on your stu on your shirt there. And let me, <laughs> have you I got a cut? Was... Let me heal that. <laughs> because you told jokes. <laughs> I do that too. But I, I also pack a medicine kit and a sewing kit, you know, just in case. Thank you. Coda, I'll, I... I'll make lunch. Nice. Uh... Happily dig the latrine duty when it comes up. Wow. Suck Cup's up. always happy to help. The That's armor easy. is Vax. Uh, a very old Vax individual, uh, hence the excellent smelting capabilities. Coda, during you, your two-week internship, uh, you learned that he actually lived in the homeland when he was growing up and would like nothing better than to see the merchants of Venice destroyed and the homeland of the Vax taken back. He will point out that there are several other Vax outposts in this area, including a town called Zeno. Uh, but that is all he knows because he's never been there. Crow, D12 against me. Uh, 11. Seven. You will be told by the Fletcher that uh, he is not Vax. Uh, the Vax people are extraordinarily uh, hardworking individuals and have an excellent amount of knowledge, uh, considering they were once learned individuals from the East. He will say that there are many Vax outposts in the region, including Zeto, which actually resides on a lake and is a floating city. Prendor, D12 against me. Two. Shit rolls for me. Eight. Uh, you have found several Vax people who have been able to tell you you're holding the map upside down. <laughs> this is where we are. Uh, and it has several villages listed on it, including Toad Town and Afok. Really? Which is where Edu came from. Hmm. Huh. Uh... And they explain to you, you know, this is the edge of our former homeland, da-da-da-da-da. 
this land is a blight upon humanity, just like your three associates, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you have learned that. Uh, after two weeks, uh, you guys are fed, you guys are clothed, you guys are bathed, you guys have all the amenities uh, that none of you have ever experienced. Crendor, this is even better than growing up in the Vax community with the Murga. Uh, everything is just coming up, mm. you guys. No. Uh, however, uh, we level up. We level up. Not is yet. It is it a cult? Coda, oh. Crow, Crendor, D20. Ah. Straight up. Fourteen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Odd day, even night. Odd day. Coda, on the day that you are up on the wall, yeah. uh, you are up there with Boff. Uh, he has grown accustomed to you. Uh, and over the course of several days, uh, you have noticed that he's his eyes aren't bloodshot, the bags under his eyes aren't nearly as bad. Uh, you know, you, you quibble, you chat, uh, you're on decent terms. I wouldn't say best friends or anything. And you discover yeah. that uh, his young one named Soft uh, does sleep better. Uh, so, you know, he's he's yeah. a much better person. It's always good when they sleep, you know. What you've got to remember, Boff, is the energy you bring home is what the uh, your child feels. So you got to make sure that you've got a good positive energy. I know it's tough because you just want to, you know, drop kick it over the fence, but you got to come in, come in with a good energy. And the baby is the same thing. D twenty against me. Nine. <laughs> Five. Ah. Uh... I'll take that advice to heart. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, however, give me a perception check. Uh, where? There we go. Uh, 16. A large bipedal creature seems to be hiding in the tree line. Uh, you point that out to Boff, and he points out that he's never seen a creature like that, and whistles for Winston, who comes up on the wall. By the time Winston arrives, the creature has ducked into the tree line. Hmm. Should we uh, check it out there, boss? I mean, well, maybe get... Boys, it's the end of your shift. If you want to go out there and take a look at it, go ahead. Uh, I'm on duty, so I cannot attend with you. But if you want to round up a few people, you can go out and yeah. do a patrol. I think I'm going to do that. It sounds good. It's an interesting creature. Both, um, I'd recommend, you know, if you if you want to come, you're more than welcome. But I'd Both recommend... Come. All right. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, shit. <laughs> Uh, do you want? Both. Do you want to get so, anybody else, Coda? Yeah, I'll get. Uh, I'll get Crow, Cup, and Crendor. Okay. Uh, the usual got, suspects. It's your fucking day off, but of course, Coda's got problems. So. <laughs> it's not uh, a problem. It's a bipedal creature that could be interesting to meet. Uh, Winston uh, goes ahead, sends the door open. You've had a string of nice days. Some were cloudy, but for the most part. It, Everything is dried out, uh, which is rare in the swamp. Uh, See, so you guys smell nice. You know, you're fresh. Got all your hit points. You're solid. Uh, you guys are going to go out there. It, it is the end of the shift, so it's right before dinner time. So the yeah. sun is starting to fade. Uh, Coda, you can lead them to where you think you saw it with a survival check. This is going to be okay. so bad. 19. Uh, you beeline it, and Boff is where we saw it. Things about yay big, yay tall, had a gut on it, you know, had something shiny on it. That's how we, you know, we caught the glint out of our eye. Da -da 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 -da. Looking around, 
Uh, everybody give me survival checks. Uh, 16. 15. Yep. Yep. 15. Uh, 18. Prendor, you find a patch of hair on a low hanging limb. Uh, the hair is very coarse and you do not recognize it. Uh, clearly, Coda and Boff were correct. Something was out here. A moment later, a loud growl is heard and everybody rolls initiative. Jeez. Fuck. One. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. 12. Uh, 18. That's 20. God damn, that's five. Uh, the growl comes from over to your left, and this large bipedal creature that resembles a bear wearing, I don't know, a round trash can lid on its chest charges forward uh, with a large club, a.k.a. a morning star. Bro, you are first. Uh, how far away is it? I mean, can I pluck hiding, an arrow? By, hiding behind the trees, it is going to be right in the middle of you guys in just a moment. But if you want to pluck it with an arrow, go ahead. All right. So. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. uh 17 to hit. Uh, that does hit. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is uh, 10 points, piercing damage. Very nice. Uh, second up is a 19. Crendor, give me a perception check. Mm. 12. Uh, 12 is not good enough. What do you want to do with this thing? beat it to death sure go ahead <laughs> i like that let me let me beat it to death Ooh. uh 17 that hits Okay, my eyes are failing. Need to put D and D Beyond on an iPad to <laughs> make it easier. <laughs> Thank you. Four. Your rolls suck. Wow. Yeah, they do. Uh, Eighteen is up next, brother. Cup oh. perception check, please. Oh sure, uh, perception. Uh, that's uh, 15 plus 3, 18. Uh, you look at Crendor's strike with her great axe, but as you do, Sorry. you notice a second one coming in behind her. Going right in behind her? Yep. Um, uh, it looks like it's going to hit Crow or her this round. I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt at first level. Sure. Crendor, you notice that your associate is shooting to right hit. at your face. <laughs> 21 to hit. And, oh, that's not as good. Uh, 4, 9, 13, 15 points of radiant damage. Nicely done. See, and it, the next treats. attacks against it gets advantage. Yep. It glows uh, faintly. Coda, perception check. Okay. Uh, 22. Uh, you are wondering why Brother Cup is shooting at Crendor, and you also see the second creature coming in. So Crendor and Crow are headed this way. Cup is shooting this way. What do you want to do? You've got your choice. you got bookends. I'll go after the one that, uh, <clears throat> that Cup shot at. Sure. He was trying, that one was trying to sneak in. And so as Crow and Crendor charge ahead, you are cutting them in between. Yeah. Sure. Go ahead. Go. Okay. Divide and conquer. Yeah. 
So that is a 22 to hit. Yep. Okay. So that is nine points of bludgeoning damage to that one behind him. Nice. Uh, Boss does not see what's going on, so he's going after number one. Ooh. Nat 20 with his great axe. He unloads on the kneecap. So damage. Damage. <laughs> wow. Uh, yikes. He cuts that thing right in the aorta or in the femoral. Femoral, thank you. Uh, and it goes down like a sack of shit. Uh, Coda, uh, you are going to be the uh, others. Uh, 17 plus 4, 21. I assume that hits. That'll hit. Uh, and the Morning Star rains down on your ass. Uh, for 12 plus 2, 14 hit points of damage. Jeez. Um, I will use a reaction. Sure. Uh, for, uh, Oh, my Wrath of the Storm needs to make a DC 13 Dexterity saving throw. Not with a three. All right, it takes, uh, oh, 2d8 to lightning damage. It's four, uh, six points of lightning damage. And it falls. Dead? Dead. Uh, you notice that Bop is unhitching his britches. Oh. What? Uh, Bop? I'm going to piss on it. <laughs> is that a ritual? It is for me. <laughs> I'm going to check the body of the one Gross. I electrocuted while he pees on it. <laughs> while he pees on the other one. I don't want to uh, do let me check. Crow joins him at the urinal. <laughs> He's like, so, oh, hey. <laughs> even? Even. Luck is with you. I was hoping it would be urine soaked. Uh, as Crow and Boff cross swords, Coda, wow. you find a missive uh, written in crude common. Because okay. you guys are Murga. You three will be able to understand it. Crendor will have a little bit difficult time, but she will also understand it. Coda, do you wish to read this missive? Yes. Uh, give me a an insight check, please. Okay. That fight went way faster than I thought it would. <laughs> uh, 21. Uh, these are battle plans uh, okay. to attack someplace called Zeto. We heard of Zeto. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ah, looks like they uh, they prepping to attack uh, one of the one of your people's outposts. Uh, both in the uh, he, he's Crindle. still he's still dancing. Crendel, if you you know they said it's uh, one of your other outposts, Zeto. It looks like they're gonna prep to attack it. That's going to be a pretty intricate plan because from what I know about Seto, it's a floating city on a lake. That's impressive. Yeah. I'll just say it's one of the many outposts. Wait, that are I don't think these things float? are... They didn't strike me as too bright to come up with this. Those uh, Vax. Those Vax are smart. Way smarter than anti-Vax. Oh! <laughs> I knew that was coming. We're here. Every Aren't the merchants of Venice anti vax? <laughs> yep, anti vax is just wrong and stupid. Um. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, just like the merchants of Venice. <laughs> there you maybe have it. Maybe we should, uh, maybe we get this back and uh, maybe get to uh, uh, see what they say, and then maybe we maybe uh, need to make our way to Venus or Zeto. Sorry. Well, uh, Coda, was also, anybody hurt? Coda, you also found a handful of amber. Ooh, mm. more amber. Uh, crow, cup, 
Crendor perception. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, nineteen. Uh, seventeen. Uh, that's gonna be twelve. Okay. okay. Bro, you don't notice that Cop Crendor. You notice where Coda fishes out the amber, right where the two Dingle brothers were pissing. <laughs> is that where he fished out the amber oh no uh, the amber on your guys is still there because you've been peeing on it uh, Coda, Coda's got his handful of amber from the other one. Oh, okay oh well, we'll anybody want to anybody want to fish for the amber Not yeah really. I see him get it and all that so I take my short sword and start poking around for the amber you're, you're 12 you didn't see him okay but, you don't know. Cup and Crendor are going to have to tell you or Bob what you're doing. Okay. Do either one of you two tell them or just say fuck it? No, I tell them. Uh, hey, dumbass. <laughs> I, I, and that's when I'm Crow just... is like, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bob has no reservations. He reaches down in there and the urine is still kind of dribbling out of his hand. Uh, uh, not, not, um, nothing a little good a uh, tallow won't take care of. Ugh, sure. Uh, you guys look around. There are no other tracks. Uh, no unusual smells. No signs of any others. Uh, Let's head back. You guys head back. With your paper. Uh, Winston yeah. will be sitting there waiting for your return. Give you the old thumbs up when he notices that none of you are bleeding uh, for once. Well, did I hit? Me. For like right. half my hit points. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know you were wounded. <laughs> uh, here, it, his nose oh, okay. is just shattered and it's yeah. just blood. Phase 16. I'm not, I'm not real worried about it. I just was like, yeah, well, it did. Take so. 16 points anyway. <laughs> I noticed you were wounded here. Uh Sure hey, when you guys get in there, do you, do you want to tell Winston? Do you want to tell uh, Niska? Who do you want to tell? What you found? I'll tell Winston. Fair enough. <laughs> we will find out what Winston says next time. Hell yeah. Oh, in three months. Because uh, this is a good stopping point. And you know oh what? My gosh. Uh, fuck it. You guys are fourth level. Yeah. <laughs> level up. I'll give you fourth level because I kicked the shit out of all of you again. <laughs> uh, Rob, what'd you think? Oh, I, I I thought it was fantastic. I got hurt. I got better. I got hurt again. I got better again. Yay! Wow. Uh, he fucking murdered people. It was weird. Uh, Jesse, what'd you think? It was great. I love the uh, uh, Law and Order moment for us in the... <laughs> As we're getting interrogated, <laughs> uh, and I like to how us. Crow was getting railroaded into yeah, they were murder trying to have somebody us. they don't even know. In the murder on Crow, Cup's too uh, stupid to lie. Easily, yeah, and we could have easily done it. I was not even realizing it. I was so waiting for one of you to throw him under the bus. Because uh, I mean, uh, for a second, I thought Coda could easily went. I mean, it could have happened. He could have showed him. It could have happened. It was <laughs> the middle of the battle. I mean, I, I didn't crazy. see anybody else with a bow, lady. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it wasn't a quarrel. It wasn't me. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. uh, David, what'd you think? I, I liked it. I liked that they tried to railroad themselves. <laughs> it was great. I was just trying to make sure everybody's story was on the same page mm -hmm. here. Oh, yeah. Uh, and Carrie, what'd you think? I like your police interviewing skills. It made it interesting. And I didn't even use profanity. I know. Well, it was very good. It's almost it like you had, like had like experience with days. this, right? <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, nice. Folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc. The Calamity B-Side. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, at least as much as we did. We had a good time with it. Uh, mm. We look forward to seeing you again. Speaking of which, tomorrow is Margu. Uh, maybe this time they do not try and participate in a heist <laughs> and actually go to where they're supposed to go. Uh, that'll be about 4.15. So if you're interested in more D&D this weekend, go ahead and do that. Uh, but thank you again for watching us. We appreciate it. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. 
you want to shoot the shit about D&D sometime, uh, join our Discord if you want to buy our cool crap. Uh, links down there. Uh, I, the sale, the t-shirt sale for eleven ninety five is still on. So if you need a t-shirt, oh, yeah. it's, it's pretty good. So it's eleven ninety five. Yeah. Check the Twitter account. It's got the uh, code that you need. Uh, thank you, Pirate Dog Dice, for not killing you guys. Although at one point I did come close, or <laughs> at two points I about came close. Yeah, you and came it, real close. And of course, uh, if you're looking to make your game smell better, check out Adventure Sense by OddFishGames.com. Make her the Shine System, and of course, their Kickstarter Hot RPG with your cat. Join us on uh, Tuesday uh, for chat with the creator. Uh, one of the creators, Jen, uh, will be on the talk show to tell us all about it. Uh, maybe entice you into jumping on the Kickstarter. Uh, remember, if you want to be on a one shot or the talk show, not this Tuesday, uh, hit us up, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail. And of course, if you didn't see the announcement, Murder HoboCon 2, uh, Valentine's Day weekend, 12th and 13th of February. Uh, still in the early planning stages, but mark it on your calendar because that's the only con going at that time so far. <laughs> Folks, for all of us here at Margu or Margu Calamity, Margu, there we go. Calamity, Craig, whatever. Oh, whatever. Uh, let's warm a kiss and say goodbye. Uh, bye, everybody. Thank you. Uh, and you're muted. <laughs>